Hello, this is Loredana and today I will show you how dtype and alias is used to name a variable and make it available in the global scope in the EVM or to off-chain clients. I have previously presented a simple to understand demo of how alias can replace DNS. Check out the video description for the link. Now we are going one step further showing how it can be used inside various types of content to create linked data and documents. In this demo, we are actually editing markdown content, which is stored on-chain and can be used for creating decentralized web pages. But it can very well be any kind of text stored on a centralized or decentralized system. With alias, we can actually browse through all the existing aliases, unlike DNS where you need to know the domains and subdomains before using them. D-type -type types act like domains and subdomains, and if we choose one, we can see all the user-created aliases under that dtype type. And we can add them in our text. Using the dtype and alias packages, it is easy to convert each alias to the actual on-chain information that the alias references. And we can display it in the markdown preview. We can see that person Bob refers to a person's name and that account Bob resolves to Bob's personal Ethereum address. The same stands for Person Alice, which is this full name, and Account Alice, which is this Ethereum address. It is the same for Markdown aliases, and we can see that Markdown Article 3 resolves to this text. And we can try it again here. Let's try another one. And here it is. This is how alias and dtype can be used to reference fine-grained on-chain data and create standardized text templates. Thank you for watching. Check out our other demos and follow us for more development news.